Lovely greetings, YouTubers. It is I, Hell Gear. Welcome back to the village up here on the mountain. Now, many of you guys, hopefully, have been paying attention to the updates that are coming down the pipe. I, <laughs> wow, I need to catch up to that. But at least our current update is here on the mountain. But before I get into all of that wonderful stuffings, I have to do one quick thing. I got to take this time to, to remind everybody about the Smurf Shop. As you can see, I do have these designs up here and the two right here for the pride stuff have been featured for the past couple of days national coming out day is this 11th which is wow Ugh. which is this coming tuesday and since the, the coming week is National Coming Out Week, it's sort of a final call for this pride stuff before it's removed from the shop. It'll be here until the end of next week. Then your next chance to get these is when they come back up in June. And stay tuned for some more Smurfy designs that will be coming into the shop within the coming days. Days. You know, I gotta, I gotta put the time to bust out with the Smurf Shop. Remember, the link to the Smurf Shop is in the description below of this video and all things Smurfy. Now that we're back on the mountain, let's talk about the new stuff. <laughs> like, you probably won't get to count Smurfula, but uh, it is, it's nice to see him as the available order if you miss him today you'll probably be able to get him again tomorrow on sunday but enough about that there are some new things overgrown ruins hut look at that an ancient smurf hut lost to time and nature huh the wood papa smurf is back in 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 town huh this is interesting all right now then as i was saying there was, ooh, this is all the spookier stuff. Ah, uh, there's supposed to be some new stuff. And it's supposed to be new stuff. And it's not showing any of the new stuff. And I am upset at this. Because this island got updated. Or not the island, the mountain got updated. I actually have to build these damn guard towers. All right, fine. <laughs> Smurfs can use this guard tower to keep an eye out for danger. Well... I have the stone and the wood. So, uh, use some little ass guard towers compared to the castle. So, we'll put one there. Put one there, and we'll put this one here. Uh, 
There we go. Now we're getting some of the newer stuff. All right, let's leave so they can, uh, We need to clear that button. Got some of that rock and stone back. All right. Back on the mountain. Goody. Now then. New things. Aqua equestrian stable. Smurfette can change into an all-new equestrian costume. And her unique stable changes station. And then, of course, the quest crap. We know all that. A wooden hut for Handy's toy shop. All the transformations for Smurfette. All right, so we got overgrown ruins and a medieval dummy. This is nice because, again, the update is medieval theme. So let's take a look at the wonder, this thing, the tournament grounds. Actually, this is a jousting arena. Um... Where's my Coliseum? Okay, that's not it. That's not it. That's the dig site. Uh, I think I should build that blimp. Oh, no, no, no. Go put that back. Ah, see, here's the Coliseum. All right, sure. What's this again? Right. <laughs> so many unfinished things. Torment grounds. Okay. Let's move. Let's move a few things. <laughs> and let's move this over here. There we go. Now, now let's put the tournament ground in. I can actually get to the second stage of this. But I'm not going to. With the new wonder being built. Guess I'll just put that down and get some story going along. Is it just me or has Papa lost some of the smurf in his step? He's usually so contagiously cheerful this time of year. You're right, 
We normally smurf him before we see him. Always humming that happy holiday tune and wanting us to join. I hate smurfing my step, but I want Papa to keep his. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to use the new grouchy voice, man. You know, cause here's the thing. All right. This generation or this generation who like the Smurfs, they won't know Grouchy's bad mood. You know, when you look, read the comics now, because they incorporated this into the comics now. Like in the cartoon, Grouchy talks about and goes, me, I don't like da 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 da. Right. But. All of us who watch the 80s cartoon on Hanna-Barbera and the various episodes on the Smurfs YouTube channel, we know Grouchy would be like, I hate this! I hate that! Blah, 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 blah! You know, that sort of thing. Heck, Grouchy's all, I don't like this in Smurfs Mission by Lee. As you guys saw, he snitched Smurfette out. Because <laughs> he doesn't like keeping secrets. Papa's been mumbling about how forgetful he's getting. He hasn't been himself since he lost those Christmas lights for the village tree. Me. The super smurfy ones he promised would change color in the smurf every smurf. The smurflings were so looking forward to seeing them. Then Greedy burned all the Christmas baking and Papa discovered there was no more flour left to bake any new holiday treats. No wonder he's lost some of his holiday smurf. Papa always wants every Christmas to be smurfier than last. <laughs> yep, perfectionism. That happens. He tried so hard to make everything things extra smurfy for everyone this year. Now he just wants to stay in bed until Christmas is over. Okay, so he caught Grouchy's at Yeah. Grouchy, this is your fault. It's your fault, Grouchy. It is your fault. Mr. Me, I don't like Christmas. Yeah, see, Papa has become grouchy. We we can we can blame Grouchy for this. The last Smurf was Gar. The last Smurf was when Gargamel sent Azrael to toy with our tinsel. It's all been completely shredded and is strewn around the forest. Oh my Smurfness! I think it's time to show Papa. To show Papa all any of us need to have for the Smurfiest Christmas is him. Oh, Jesus. If this task is all I want for Christmas is Papa, I'm going to wig out. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Grandpa. Christmas without Papa wouldn't be Christmas at all. I smurfed. I smurfed it. Well, erect an ice sculpture. Uh, we got the ice sculpture, so yeah. All I want for Christmas. Yep. <laughs> I put those in storage. Ah, uh, all right. I gotta find the the storage bag. Yeah, I really do not want to put those damn things out here. But in order to advance storyline, I have to. Ah. Uh, All right, let's get some quick green pepper planting action here. Just a little bit of vegetable up here on the mountaintop. You know, there they come down both aisles, and I need to blow my nose. You know, I had a rant that I was thinking about when it came to vegetables. And stop me if you've heard this one. Actually, you can't stop me. So just listen to this. Right. 
Oh, I'm in the wrong area. Structures. People are so health conscious with things nowadays, right? How they want substitutes for just about everything. Jesus, I gotta blow my nose again. <sighs> All right. At least my nose is draining out for whatever reason. Okay, gotta turn that one around. There we go. Right. Look. Let's talk about mashed potatoes, okay? This this is something that has been like the dumbest. Oh, okay. Minimal banner. Throne of gold. Uh yeah, we gotta put that down. This has been something that has just irritated the living and dying hell out of me, right? People don't understand what vegetables are. You know, they don't they don't understand what vegetables are. And when they don't understand what vegetables are, they try to make vegetable substitutes for this. You know, the perfect example of this stupidity. See, now this I should make. It's a rook. <laughs> you got to have a rook, right? What's this? Mushroom trash can. You know what? Yeah. We're going to have some damn trash cans around here. Got to be clean. Huh, you really smurfed my suggestion with smurfed my bacon with that suggestion. Think of it of it, sir. No, really, I've gone Smurf with power. I forgot that I really need you guys to help me out. Well, I have come some. I have some more ideas. I bet we can put. Bet if we could put them all together, we'd have a plan against Gargamel. Let's start with that catapult. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm near the mountain. I can smell Smurf. Wow! I see him. Ready? Aim! Fire! Swish! my eyes wow those oranges were perfect for that catapult much better than rocks uh no not much better than rocks rocks would have knocked him out <laughs> rocks would have knocked him out should have went with the rocks now let's finish the castle so we can enjoy it hooray right here's the thing There's a trash can right here. All right, let's harvest these these and then get back to what I was going to say. And then plant some more bell peppers. Right. What do you guys consider vegetables? You know, like carrots, lettuce, Things like that, right? Tea. Tea actually is a vegetable. It's a plant. Um, but apparently, at stores, they have vegetable mashed potatoes. Now, I don't know what idiot, <laughs> what health conscious idiot doesn't know that a potato is a vegetable. But, um... Somebody needs to remind them that potatoes are vegetables. Yes, we need one right there by the merry-go-round. And one by the school. Uh... 
Uh, yeah. I'm just going to put some trash cans down. Sheep don't make trash, though. But I will put one right there. You know, real talk, okay? The reason why they're talking about how mashed potatoes are not a vegetable is because it's a starchy vegetable. You know, look, mashed potatoes are vegetables. You may not like the fact that mashed potatoes are vegetables, but mashed potatoes are vegetables. They are regular potatoes, just mashed. But... Potatoes are vegetables. You know, your problem with to you health conscious idiots out there. Let me put this right here. Yeah, right there. That's where we should have some trash cans. Yes, the king should have some trash cans too. Oh, the final part of the castle, huh? All right, sure. One last piece of the castle, and then that'll be done. All right, so King Smurf's quests are about to be finished. <laughs> That's great. Right? Look, contrary to what you might think, and contrary to what you've been told, potatoes are vegetables. You know, it's just a starchy food. And because a lot of people are not able to eat starches so much, they want to make substitutions for this. The same thing is with noodles, right? Like pasta. That's why they, sh that's why they cut up strips of zucchini and call it Zaloodle or Zoodles, right? Now, to, to the argument of the Zoodles, those are actually good. <laughs> I, I've had some, some pasta with Zoodles. Uh, that actually was in the right spot. I just needed to turn it. All right, that's enough trash cans, right? Zoodles are actually delicious, but here's the thing. A lot of folks can't handle these starchy foods like pasta. This is something I've said often about being diabetic as I sip my water real fast. Like, I would be pissed if I ended up being diabetic because the two things that I like to eat a decent amount of, I wouldn't be able to eat so much anymore. And pasta is one of them. Let's get some cave, some mountain drop action going on here, right? I wouldn't be able to enjoy pasta like I want and I wouldn't be able to enjoy, to enjoy fruit like I want, you know? I make a lot of smoothies, and these smoothies have fruit. 40 stone. Ooh. Um, mm, I just went through a lot of stone. I'm, I'm going to give that up. Normally, I would take that large amount of stone. Come on. Give me the stardust, man. That's what I want. We're just getting all the stone, huh? Is that it? Let's go here, right here. You know what? I'm just going to keep the three racks. <laughs> Give me that. Should have just stuck with the 40 stone. But in any case, right? Oh, we got some bell peppers coming up. Right. I eat berries a lot. Like the most fruit that I eat are like berries, strawberries, grapes, blueberries, 
raspberries, blackberries. Then, of course, there's oranges and, like, plums. And diabetics, they can't eat all of that fruit because the fructose will raise their sugar like it's nobody's business. And it would suck, you know? And you don't get to eat as much pasta either when you're, when you're a diabetic because, you know, pasta is mostly made from, like, wheat. Like, whole wheat pasta... And the pasta is made from flour. You you probably seen Master Chef of these cooking shows how they roll out the dough <laughs> to make to make the noodles for pasta. You know it would suck to be a diabetic because I wouldn't be able to eat that stuff like I would. You know what? Let's plant. Let's grow stuff that'll take a day. Eighteen hours, five hours. Golden potatoes. Those take a day. Yeah. That's right. I'm growing the golden potatoes. These are vegetables. They grow out of the ground. There we go. Get some golden potatoes. They'll be doing that for a whole day. Yeah, you guys laze around for most of this time in this village anyway, so... Planting some potatoes for a day ain't going to kill you. Matter of fact, let's get some more gardening out here. I can put up two more garden plots. There we go. And yeah, you guys are going to be on the golden potatoes. Right? You wouldn't be able to eat how you like. And when I say eat how you like, I mean the healthy stuff. You know, I like to eat pasta. You know, we have a pasta night in my house. And the fact that I wouldn't be able to eat all that pasta, that would break my heart, man. It, it would. And all of you health conscious people wanting to eat cauliflower, like mashed potatoes and and. And shit like that. Seriously. Don't call that veggie mashed potatoes. Potatoes are vegetables. You know, if you're going to make something veg, if you're going to make a vegetable substitution for something, make a vegetable substitution that isn't a plant. You know, you don't make a veggie substitute from another plant. That's just stupid. Yeah. Next thing you know, we're going to make a vegetable substitution for what is this? This is like that Heinz commercial where adulting sucks and everything's made out of cauliflower. <laughs> right? They're gonna make you're gonna make a vegetable substitution for fruit. And believe me when I tell you this, parents, your kids are not going to eat vegetable substitutions for fruit. They have enough problems eating certain vegetables. <laughs> why why are you gonna make vegetable substitution for the fruit? That's just the dumbest. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, vegetables are good in sparing the amounts. Get your pride designs in, as this is the last call in the Smurf shop. And more Smurfs Village is on its way. Especially since there should be a Halloween update coming within the next couple of days, if not weeks. So raise your thumbs if you've enjoyed this one. Now let me get this potato planting going and be done. Bye-bye, everybody.